I'm Mark Gilanov, Chair of the Department of Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgery at the Cleveland Clinic. I'm Dr. Daniel Burns, Staff Surgeon at the Cleveland Clinic, and I specialize in robotic and minimally invasive mitral valve surgery. Today we're going to talk a little bit about robotic surgery, specifically robotic mitral valve surgery, and our experience here at the Cleveland Clinic with more than 2,000 patients who've had robotic mitral valve surgery. Many times people ask, why do you, the surgeons, do robotic mitral valve surgery, what are the advantages? And there are a few advantages. The first is for the patient, of course, smaller incision, quicker recovery, no big incision on the chest. From the surgeon perspective, we have an incredibly accurate high definition camera such that we have with the robot unparalleled views of the valve. And couple this outstanding exposure and view with the robotic instruments, which enable us to do anything with the robot that we could have done with our hands, you get a winning combination that lets us fix the valve through very small incisions. Though there are numerous advantages to using the robot, we have to be mindful that we cannot do a full spectrum of cardiac surgical cases with the robot, and also that there are some things that we have to be quite mindful of. For instance, um, a patient's aortic valve has to be competent to allow for proper protection of the heart during the surgery and also to prevent over distension of the left ventricle, potentially leading to dysfunction after the surgery. We also have to be mindful that the patient's aorta has to be relatively free of calcium and plaque burden to minimize the stroke risk during the surgery. There are numerous things that we can also add to a robotic mitral valve surgery. Things like atrial septal defects or patent foramen ovale, tricuspid valve repair, atrial ablation procedures or maze procedures for uh, the treatment of atrial fibrillation. When a patient comes to us for mitral valve surgery and potentially robotic mitral valve surgery, I think there are a few questions that the patient should ask the surgeon. First and foremost, what has been your experience, your institutions, your surgeon's experience with the robot? This is an important question because there is a substantial learning curve to using the robot. We are fortunate that we're thousands of cases into our learning curve and we've developed expertise such that now a robotic mitral valve operation is routine. Doesn't take that long, goes well, and we have also a team of people that is skilled and trained with the robot. So that gets to the second question. Do you have a team that is specifically dedicated to robotic surgery? And finally, you want to know if you're the patient, what are your surgeons and surgical team's results? How have they done? What are their risks? What is their repair rate? The operative risk for a robotic mitral valve operation should be close to zero. This is an operation that can be done such that virtually every single patient does well. And the repair rate, the ability to repair the valves that we intend to repair should be 99% or greater. These are the key questions to ask your surgeon. At the Cleveland Clinic, we have the benefit of having performed over 2,000 robotic assisted mitral valve procedures. Because of this experience, we have now achieved a surgical mortality risk of less than 1% and a surgical repair success rate of 99.5%. This is coupled also with a very low risk of concomitant complications. For instance, our stroke risk is less than 1% as well. Our goal is to not only perform an excellent and durable mitral valve operation, but to give the maximum patient safety during the course of the procedure and afterwards. Robotic mitral valve surgery is a highly complex endeavor that requires a super experienced team. So if you are contemplating this approach for yourself and for your own mitral valve, it behooves you to find a surgeon and a surgical team that has dedication and expertise to ensure that when you leave that hospital, you are well, you have a repaired valve, and you're going to have a quick and excellent recovery. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. 
And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen, or click the blue button to visit parkvalvesurgery.com.